Minecraft. Arguably one of the best games ever made, and for me personally, my favourite game ever made. However, in these recent years, for me, Minecraft has felt a bit different. It feels rushed and formulaic now. Even with the really cool new updates and features, at times it can feel really boring. And I think that stems from how we play the game. Minecraft used to be a sandbox, yet now it feels like a story game, causing us to push through the same objectives and overcome the same obstacles. So that's why I'm here today, to see if modern Minecraft can be played like it's 2013. So sit back, relax, and let's just enjoy some Minecraft once again. There we go. Okay, everybody. So, as you just saw in the intro, oh, it is very, very nice to be in a new Minecraft world. Because for those who are kind of new to the channel, I have had a legacy Minecraft series where I've been doing sort of like the exact same sort of goal as what I'm doing for this series. But yeah, I think that is what my goal is going to be for this series. I kind of want to just see... If we can play Minecraft for fun once again, even in the modern Minecraft sort of kind of style, I don't know. But, um, yeah, <laughs> episode one, everyone, I guess you could call this. I don't know if you guys want this to be a series. I think it should be pretty fun. But, um, yeah, it's episode one of how to make Minecraft fun again, I guess. I don't know. We're just kind of experimenting to see if we can even make Minecraft like the good old days. So this is a completely new world, completely random seed, and I also even put it on hard mode to have that extra kind of sense of, um, kind of panic and, you know, kind of uh, sense of danger at night time. Because I feel like that's another thing with Minecraft nowadays. Uh, I feel like it's too easy. I feel like nowadays in Minecraft, people race straight away to get enchanted diamond armor, get nether up, defeat the ender dragon on elytra, and then after that, there seems to be no challenge. And I feel like a lot of people lose interest after that. But where's your sense of adventure? Where's your sense of exploration? Where's your sense of wanting to survive and having to face challenges day in and day out? That is something that I feel like a lot of day modern Minecraft actually really misses. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> so you guys are just going to listen to me. We're kind of going to be just exploring a bit, and we're just going to get a basic base set down. And I think there's actually a jungle biome over there, which is really, really cool. I love jungle biomes, and I've never really done anything with them, so we could actually do something with that. I think we should probably go somewhere over there. Oh, okay, I can already tell this is going to be quite an adventure. But yeah, everyone, for those who don't know me, I did actually forget to mention, my name is Swifty Sloth, and uh, I'm a Minecraft content creator that does do other games on the channel on the side, but I'm kind of all set around playing old Minecraft. Whoa! Whoa, look at this! Hold on! Sheep, mate, do you see this? It's a fully beached shipwreck. This is actually really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this. Let's see what we can get from it. That is really good. I will hold on to this. However, I don't want to actually use this yet because, like I said, I want to take things slower. So I'm going to have all these materials, but I'm actually not going to use them yet. I'm going to keep this away, put them in somewhere safe. However, we do need to get a camp set down because night is coming upon us. And like I said, it is in hard mode and I'm not the best Minecraft player. So this could prove to be pretty problematic. Okay, what's in here as well? Carrots. Okay, that is actually really, really cool. Okay, that is that is really, really good for um, farming. And what is a suspicious stew? How long has this been in the game for? I've never seen this before. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that. I've never seen... I don't even know what a... Wait, can you eat it? You can eat it. i got night vision. That's really, really cool. Okay. <laughs> Far Okay, you can actually tell. Um, I don't know how new that is, but I, if for those who don't know, I don't actually really play modern Minecraft anymore. I am actually a Legacy 1.14 player, uh, as seen in my last Minecraft series. So if I am a bit um, um, short-minded on a lot of the newer features in Minecraft, that is probably why. That is a really cool thing, though. I've never seen that before. I've never found one. I, am I stupid? Has that been in the game for ages? Now, this is one beautiful area. Now, I don't actually really know how you guys are going to take this series because I do know how Minecraft uh, content creation nowadays can be very fast-paced and highly overstimulation editing. However, I personally don't really like that sort of style. And I don't know if you guys do either, but for me personally, I'd r much rather just the more chill sort of YouTube nowadays. Like, I miss it. I really do miss it because... 
YouTube used to be a place where I could just go on to I either have it on in the background or just lay in bed and just relax. But I feel like nowadays I just get blasted with tons of edits and stuff and things flashing up on the screen. And I don't know, the people just seem very forced, you know, the personalities that they put on, the, um, you know, the things that they do and everything, the things that they say, I feel like it's a really forced and kind of, I don't really know, it's kind of, ah, it's hard to say, <laughs> you know, but I do, guys, I keep forgetting, we're, going, we're kind of rambling on at this point, I did want to take a slow have we do need to get a base down, I do want to get a really, really cool base for this episode, so, let's go to actually find somewhere close, I want to live kind of near spawn, but I don't want to live on spawn if you know what i mean now one thing that i don't like about this region is that it's just completely beach wow oh, okay that is just so i thought that was something cool <laughs> but um yeah that's one thing i don't like about this area it is it seems to be just a sandy beach and personally for me i don't really like deserts however you can make some amazing builds in deserts like pyramids desert village and stuff like that but i feel like a much more interesting biome would be that right there Oh, jungles I feel like are just the most lush and probably the coolest looking um, builds and stuff you can get there in the jungle just because of the landscape, the way things are formatted and I feel like there's a lot more versatility when it comes to building and I think that's what I'm going to leave either near the jungle, hang about Oh, this looks really cool Wow! Oh my god! Okay, but yeah, <laughs> I know I said I was really stupid right now, but I have not really played too much of the um a bit of the caves and cliffs update. So I'm used to the old caves. This is really cool. We may have just found our spot to live. That would be a really cool base, living on an edge of a cave, like cliff sort of face thing. We've got the acacia biome over there, jungle area there. This might be a pretty good spot. And you know what we could do? We could have like railways and stuff and roads. Because that's another thing. I just want to sort of just say some rules I'm actually going to set myself for this series. I think what I'm going to do is just to make it harder. I'm going to limit myself on netherite. So I'm going to probably not, I'm not until like a further episodes. I'm not going to use any netherite. No elytra whatsoever. And no total of undying. So no second chance. I want to actually feel and play this game as if there was, if it was 20, um, 20, like 13, you know have that sense of desperation and uh, sort out materials and stuff like that. I actually have to work for things. I have to be cautious. That is what I want to play. Okay, what I think I'm going to do though, I'm going to come back to when I've got this area cleared out and I'll have a little hut set down. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, we're in this little cave area and I think I have the perfect base sort of idea if I want to do for this build. I think what would be really, really cool is if I had sort of some sort of like bridge leading over here and having a house built around one of the pillars. I think that should be really, really cool. And then what I want to do is I don't want to have just one base and then just build another one in the future. I want to continue to expand my house. And what I want to do is I think I'm going to have that little base there and then make a little area going up here and then have my base and my whole town in general kind of expanding around here. And also that's another thing I do want you guys to let me know. Do you want to see multiple people on the worlds? Because in my last Legacy series, I had helpers, and I think it could be really, really cool to have helpers and you guys come onto the world and just kind of star and, um, you know, kind of just come into the world and have some fun. And I think that should be a really cool and nice addition. However, it is hard mode, and it's becoming nighttime. I don't have a bed, and I think we're going to have to resort to uh, mining into a cliff face. Whoa, hold on. Okay, guys, so I was just clearing out some trees here to make the little bridge going over there. Is that lapis? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, what? What, what block is that? Is that copper? I think that actually might be copper. I have not really seen too much of copper. Can I... Oh, no, it is lapis. Okay. Wait, what? I thought lapis was all the way down into, like, the real, like, lower levels. That is trippy. Okay. Oh, it is very dark. I don't like cave sounds. I don't like cave sounds. I don't like cave sounds. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what's actually weird, though? I've not seen any mobs. Like, it's, I'm on hard difficulty, and yet there is not a... I said a skeleton. Yes, okay. So, as you guys can see here, we found some coal. And um, I would normally limit myself with this, just because we are such in the early days. However... I do want actually some light for you guys to see because I don't want you guys to just be staring into the pitch black. So, oh, let's get some torches. 
Okay, guys, so I think what I might do is I've kind of got this little area cleared up, but I think I might start with actually building the little bridge going onto that pillar there. And I think that should be a really good little nice design. And another thing that I think would also come up from a big bonus of this build is the fact that it's going to be kind of elevated. And that kind of means that no mobs and stuff will be able to get me. So things like those little pesky creepers down there will not be able to make their way up to my base unless they come through the bridge, of course. But yeah, I think I'm going to start actually kind of pressing this down. So I think I'm going to get the base sort of shape for the bridge. And I'll come back to you guys when I've kind of got that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've kind of worked through the night a bit, and I know I did say I was just going to do the bridge, but I've kind of done a touch of terraforming, and let me tell you, so far, this has been really fun. I've made a really cool kind of like cave entrance to the little bridge here, and so far, this is looking really, really cool, and at, the po at this point in time... It kind of mission accomplished. This has been so fun already, and we're only just starting, kind of. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just start working and expanding this little bit of um, the bridge, and I think it should turn out pretty cool. So, oh, that is so scary down there. I do need to mind that, though. Oh, that is really creepy. Actually, that does remind me. Hold on, everybody. So for the very few people who are actually still here... I do just want to thank you so much for sticking around to this point in the video. So I do just want to say, I'm going to make this little pole here. And this pole is going to be the, I guess you could say the little totem pole for the first episode. And this is going to, I'm going to kind of have is the most, for the person with the most liked comment with the phrase turtle in the comment. It can be any comment. It can be like the turtle is slow. The most liked comment with the phrase turtle in it. I will put that person onto this sign to commemorate them for episode one, and they will be in the world forever. That is going to be the whole thing, okay? So make sure to look in the comments, vote for the most, um, the best comment, and yeah, make sure to check back next episode. Okay, so I've made a pretty rough platform. However, I feel like this is a definitely a really, really good base layer. And now what I kind of want to do is start to carve into the hill here. Oh, that is very thin. That is much thinner than I thought it would be. Okay, that's a touch bit worrying. I do also need to start getting some like fences and stuff and some supports. And I think that should turn out to be really, really cool. I love these caves though, I have to say. They look so treacherous. And although um, I do love the efficiency of the old caves, how that you only have to be in the one story, I think, for each ore. It is really, really cool to see how deep these massive and deep caverns. It is so cool and treacherous and honestly quite frightening, I have to admit. Okay, guys, so I have to admit I have got in a touch carried away, just a touch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've added a few flowers that I've picked just at the intro area, and I've kind of made this a bit bolder. However, if you come over here, I've also added a touch bit of texturing, and I've added this big, like, sort of rock face, and just a lot of, like, kind of area just to add, um, a bit of texturing, because I don't know why I love having this, like, kind of broken, like, little chasm house sort of thing. So I've kind of added in this andesite and cobblestone mix, and it looks really, really cool, because there's a lot of andesite in this area, so I decided just to mix in some cobblestone. And I think the granite works really well, the dirt as well. And I have got had a blast building this. This is probably one of the most fun I've had building anything in a while. So, um, yeah, this has been, so far, really, really fun. Honestly, I've, I, but actually, the only thing I have actually had any issues with um, compared to Legacy Edition, uh, just by playing this, is I feel like the performance the actual perform overall performance and just the way it actually runs i've had a lot of fps drops and stuff just from playing this and i always thought that's actually really really weird because we've had like you know no problem on legacy edition so it was actually very very strange to have these issues uh and yeah i don't know that was probably like my only actual problems i've had thus far and yeah i just thought that would be that was really really strange considering how well legacy actually does run compared to this but, um, yeah, the, other than that, though, these new features and all like that, the way everything's sort of made and generated, I feel like you have a lot more versatility and a lot more, um, I feel like you can use your imagination a lot more. I feel like that is one of the things that I do really, really appreciate about this, uh, version. And, like, just the way everything generates and all like that is just really, really unique and cool. And I think that's, like, one of the sparks that I do love about newer Minecraft. 
is just like the new generation. However, I do feel like people nowadays don't utilize it as much as they should. Like, I feel like you could do so much stuff with the new generation and every, how everything works. But I feel like, I've just from what I've seen, people don't really do it. I don't know. That's just what I've kind of noticed, so. Oh! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> oh, that is quite unfortunate. Oh, bloody, I was trying to kill a skeleton! And would you look at that? Looks like some wandering trader saw my loot and went straight for it. Look, that old mate was trying to get my loot. Oh, can you bloody believe him? Those little snarky bastards always trying to get to my stuff for free. Ha, ah, and there's the leftover mass of the creeper explosion. <laughs> oh, dude, I guess this is a good time though to showcase what I've done. So yeah, as you guys can see here, uh, I've made this little area and I've also added in some little wood pillars and now I'm starting to try to texture in more andesite and cobblestone. I've even cleared out this granite wall so I'm going to replace with more cobblestone. I just need to smelt some stone, which is granted going to be a quite a lengthy and annoying process. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, after a bit more work, you can say that I guess I am pretty much complete with the house, except for all the interior decoration. Now, as you can see, I haven't really changed anything out here, but if we come through here, you can see I've kind of transformed this area, made this all stone. Creepy cave sound. But um, yeah, this area here, I'm kind of confused about. I don't really know what to do. I think what I might do is just use my last remaining oak plank. There we go. And then put in oak fences like this. I think that is a pretty good idea. And then actually, if I could probably break this part here... Or something like that. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to say. I don't know if I want this to be open or not. I think I might just have it like that. I think that's pretty cool. And then now what I want to do for the interior decoration, I want to have my chests over here. That is a really, really nice little workstation area. I don't really know what to call it. Um, but yeah, that is a really nice little area to have all my workstations in. And now this area here, I kind of want to do something like, um, they might just put like oak things like that, like um, little like bookshelves there. Unless I put them somewhere else. I don't really know. Let's just... Wait, what? Where'd they go? <laughs> Did I just break them legit? Oh, what? I thought you could just pick them, pick them up. I don't really know what these things are, but um, they're pretty cool. I have to admit, they are pretty cool. Why can I not make them? And I don't even have enough wood for the bloody. I'll have to make one of them. Oh, I'm so poor. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's put this in the corner over here. I think I'm going to put it right there. And then above it, just to kind of memorialize this episode, I'm going to put a carrot to represent this episode. And then for every time from now on, whenever we come back here, uh, you know, we can remember that. Remember this episode. And yeah. Okay, now what I think the final thing I want to do is just to add these two red beds, which I've dyed. And that should hopefully... I think, end of this episode. So, I think, I'm just going to put these last bits of torches down like that. I think I'm just going to put them like this. I think that's enough light, I hopefully. And then, actually, I think, <laughs> keep changing my mind at the very last second, you know. You love to see it. You love to bloody see it. All right, I think I'm going to do something like this. I think that should be better. Just it's not just like all buddy. Yeah, I think that's much, much better and much more comfortable. Okay, but yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave off this episode, everyone. So, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Honestly, the, I think the big question, can uh, you play Minecraft, like um, modern Minecraft, like it's 2013? I think the answer for that is definitely. If you just use your imagination, do things that you would not normally do within your world, and just try to have fun, you know? Try to do things that typically no one would actually do. And um, do things and do what you feel would be the most fun and most intriguing to your playstyle. For me, I love building, so that's what I'm probably going to dedicate this series to. Obviously, I'm going to expand into other things as well. Like, I want to teach myself how to do redstone and such, but yeah, similar to my Legacy series, I'm going to dedicate this series more so to building. That way, yeah, I don't know, I just, I think it should be much more fun, and yeah, with that said, I think this should series should be a blast, so please um, leave your th um, support down below, and if I should actually continue this series, but yeah, with that said, everyone, thank you all so much, very much for watching, my name is Swifty Sloth, and goodbye.